Assalamualaikum warahmatullah. Dear audience, I hope you are all well with the infinite mercy and blessings of Almighty God. Today, I will discuss about a prayer. If you recite the dua ten times while prostrating, Allah Almighty will fulfill all the hopes of your heart, even what you ask Allah will grant you. Watch the video till the end to know the rules for doing the whole process. In this society of ours, who doesn't want my wants and needs not to be fulfilled? Everyone wants what I ask Allah Ta'ala to fulfill. Everyone wants to be a beloved servant of Allah Ta'ala. That is why Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala fulfills the hopes and aspirations of all the creatures of the society. If you can recite this dua ten times in sijda, then Allah will fulfill all the wishes of your heart. We have learned to pray for a long time. But it is possible to pray during prostration. In prostration, the servant becomes the closest to Allah. It is in Hadith Sharif that when does a servant get closest to Allah, Rabbul Alameen? The only answer to this is in the Hadith Sharif. The Messenger of Allah, may God bless him and grant him peace, said that a servant is closest when he prostrates to Allah. Then there is no barrier between the slave and Rabbul Alameen. Subhanallah, Allahu Akbar, Allah Ta'ala will accept what you ask for. Respected audience, you must have enough integrity and sincerity in your mind. In order for a prayer or a deed to be accepted in the court of God, you must have full faith in Islam. One must have 100% faith and perform the practice knowing and following the rules. Inshallah, by the grace of Allah Ta'ala, you will get success. The rules for doing this are, you have to perform this act during tahajjud prayer. Remember that you cannot perform this act in the sija of the obligatory prayer. This should be done while performing nafal namaz. The best time is the time of tahajjud prayer. Because of this, the tahajjud prayer is performed on the last night. And in the Hadith Sharif, there is a special time of the last night when Allah Rabbul Alameen came down. He tells the servants who needs what, ask of me and I will fulfill it. Ask me who is in need and I will satisfy the need. Ask me who is in debt and I will give you the opportunity to repay the debt. Once you stand on the bed of tahajjud in prayer and prostrate and recite the dua ten times in the court of Rabbul Alameen, Allah Almighty will fulfill the desires of your heart. Inshallah, the prayer is a verse of the Quran. We are always praying, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana, mo fil akhirati hasana, wa Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 223. The English meaning of this prayer is, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana, O Lord grant me good in this world, ma fil akhirati hasana, Allah grant me good in the hereafter. Wakin azabannar, O Lord save me from the fire of hell. Be it the first sajda while you are prostrating inside the tahajjud prayer, be it the second sajda in every raqa. Sajda recites tasbih, Recite the prayer ten times from the heart with tears in your eyes while in prostration. Read ten times. Astaghfirullah, you read Durud Sharif a few times after finishing the prayer. Then pray to Allah. Insha'Allah, insha'Allah, Allah will grant you whatever you want. They are called the greatest supplications described in the Holy Quran. This dua was recited most by Prophet Muhammad. Dear viewers, you have become the closest servant of Allah Ta'ala in the world. Only tahajjud prayer is the result of this. It has been possible to reach admission to Allah Almighty very quickly. That is why you should pray tahajjud more and more. And try to recite the Quranic verses ten times in the prostration of prayer. Inshallah, if you cannot perform the tahajjud prayer, then at any time two rakat nafal prayers will be offered. He can read this dua in the state of prostration. Inshallah, Allah will accept your prayers and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will fulfill all your desires and imperfections. How long will you do this practice? The hope you are talking about with Allah, the prayers you are doing, until your hopes are fulfilled. Until then you will continue to do the practice. If you can't read tahajud, even if two rakat nafal prayers are performed, the amal will continue to be performed when you see your hope fulfilled. Don't stop the practice immediately when you get what you want. You will be more thankful. Undoubtedly Allah loves grateful people and can continue for multiple prayers, inshallah, there is no shortage of information unknown to God.